Hi, let's build a two-way AI agent for emails using N8N in under 10 minutes. So first sign in. If, if you don't have an account, just create an account. I already have an account. And once we have done the sign in, I'm still on the free trial. Uh, you can feel free to use the free trial until it expires. Uh, here I'm going to create a workflow that is personal. And what we would like to do here is fetch details from the Gmail of certain type of emails and uh, um, analyze th those emails using OpenAI. So we'll need OpenAI API and then create a Google Sheet or append rows to an already existing Google, sh Google Sheet based on the details that are present in the email. And then based on some modifications you make in the Google Sheet, this agent should be able to automatically respond to certain emails, right? So this is the workflow that we want to set up. So first step is adding the uh, trigger. So I will add manual trigger. We can add automatic triggers also. So only when I manually click test workflow, then only this will get executed. Then I will connect Gmail. So I have an email account and what I want is I want to fetch multiple emails. So get many messages. That is the functionality that I want. I have already connected my email. What you need to do is like if it's not connected, press uh, click uh, create new credential and just log in with your corresponding email account. So this is the email account that I'll be using here. I have sent few emails to myself from different uh, Gmail accounts asking, uh, can I know the start date of a certain AI ML live course? So just imagine what we are interested is in fetching the details of those people who have sent emails asking or inquiring regarding a particular course. And I think there are totally four emails that I have sent myself from four different emails. So what we'll do is, uh, this is the fourth one, uh, course start date inquiry. So what we want to first do is fetch those emails from our Gmail account. So connect the appropriate Gmail account. The source will be messages and operation is get many emails. We don't want return all. And then I limit the number of emails that I want to fetch to 10. This can be any number. And then what I want is in the settings, I want to output the data. And uh, in filter, I will add a search query saying course. So the emails that have this word course will be fetched. And I can also add like a received after date. So I want to have the emails that are received after 25th of May uh, to be fetched. And uh, this depends on your requirement. And then let's test the setup. So when we are testing, it is fetching four items. So four emails have been fetched from the uh, Gmail. And you can see the email content. I think all the emails should have course in the subject, uh, course detail, question, course, course, course. All of these are course related emails. So now we have fetched the email and we have it readily available in the output. Now what we need is we need to send these emails to OpenAI. So search OpenAI. And what we need is send a message a model. So messaging a model in OpenAI. And I have already connected the OpenAI account. Basically, uh, you can click here, create new credential, and there it will ask for the API key. You just need to copy paste the API key from OpenAI. Resource is text, message a model, and I'm going to choose GPT-4.0 latest model. And in the prompt, I want uh, some prompts to be variable, some prompts to be fixed. So a prompt will be a collection of the, the sub prompts that we are adding here. So one part of the prompt should be the email of the user. So I will drag, click, drag and drop this from into this. That will automatically become an expression. Next should be a subject. I want subject to be also sent into the prompt. Then I want the uh, snippet, which is the email content that also I want to be sent into the prompt. So here you can see the email content. Uh, then what I need is the thread ID, because when we are replying to an email, each email has a unique ID. And if we have this thread ID, we can reply to corresponding email thread that I want. And maybe that's it, right? Yeah, so email, who has sent the email? What is the subject? What is the content of the email? And what's the thread ID of the email? That's it. Now one fixed message, um, analyze. So I'll, I'll increase the size of this so that you can read properly. Analyze the email content. And if the email is about um, a question regarding AI ML course, then create a response that mentions the course start date is July 30th. Also share the share this link to the course website in the response. So this is the response that I want to craft and uh, 
the website link is .ai slash live uh, AI courses. So I also want this, this link to be part of the response. Then I say, I want the uh, output in JSON format and uh, the field should be sender name, uh, sender email, response, and uh, another one should be thread ID, thread ID, sender email, sender name, th response, and thread ID. I think that's it. Uh, these are the four things which are in the prompt, and I want the output in the form of JSON. So if you want the output in the form of JSON, that's why I selected GPT-4 or latest. So that's it. Now we can run, test the setup. So whatever output we got after G Gmail call, API call, we will feed that into OpenAI. And now OpenAI will analyze and hopefully will give us JSON response corresponding to those four emails. We can add more things in the prompt saying if the email is not regarding the um, uh, course inquiry, then give a null response. That also is possible. Um, okay, one more thing I can add here is in the response part, do not include characters like Actually, it's fine. I don't think slash n is an issue. Okay, so we have the response for four emails here and it is in JSON format. Okay, so that is done. Now let's go back. And now once we have the response, we should write this into a Google Sheet. So let's create a Google Sheet, sheets.google.com. And uh, we can create a Google Sheet named uh, course inquiry or course uh, inquiry email response. And here I'll just put a test uh, column so that uh, automatically when uh, NA10 is fetching the columns, the name will appear. So now connect Google Sheets and I want append a row in the existing sheet instead of creating a new sheet. So I have already logged into the Google Sheets account, the Google account corresponding to this Google Sheets. So you can also do the same by adding create a new credential, then sheet within the document and append row. And from list, I have to find the, the sheet name, course inquiry email response, and it will be sheet one. That's the default sheet name and then map the column manually. So yeah, so test column has come. Now, what all columns do we need? We need email, we need name, we need response, we need thread ID. So these are the four things, four columns, which I want to fill automatically. So I will do this sender name. Uh, so let me refresh. So after I refresh this test, yeah. So now all the column names are there. So sender name in the name, uh, sender email in email, then response that is crafted will be here. Then uh, the fourth one is thread ID, which is the email thread ID that is here. So that's it. And we can display the output parameters. Yeah, that's it. So now hopefully the output from OpenAI will be written into Google Sheets uh, row by row. So let's see what happens. And if we open the Google Sheet automatically, we should see this getting filled uh, in, in like a few seconds. Yeah, see now this has been filled. So now we have the email, name, response, and thread ID, okay? So now what we can do is we can add a column. Uh, let me just make wrapping wrap. We can add a column like approve, which is if this email response looks good, we can simply approve it by just typing yes. But before we add that, let's do one more thing. Uh, let's go back to our workflow. So after we approve the response, we have to do something, right? So this is where we can add a human in the loop, uh, where this human will check whether uh, some some entry has been added in the Google Sheet or not. So let's add human in the loop. Uh, and this human in the loop will give us options. Where should N810 send, in, send a message to a human so that human can approve? So I'll, I'll keep, this as, keep this as email. And uh, into my Gmail account, I should receive a message. And uh, the email account is sridhat.panat at gmail.com. And the subject is, can, can you approve the uh, workflow? And then in the message say, if you have read the responses and approve those, add yes in the uh, approve column. And then once done, click the button below to approve. And here in the approval, we can add a button. So option is approve only button. Uh, that's it. So we can test this setup. So what happens is when I test this setup, I should receive an email asking me to approve. So let's see, waiting for input. So now I should have received an email in my previous Gmail, which I showed you. So let's see that. Um, 
I should have received. Yeah. So can you approve the workflow? If you have read the responses and approve those, add yes in the column, approve column, and then once done, click the button below. So I have to click this button, but I'll do this after I add yes in this response, uh, in this approval. So I, it looks like the, the messages or emails crafted by uh, chat uh, GPT is good. So I'll just type yes in this approve uh, column. Okay. So, and then before I approve, I can also do one more thing, um, which is go back to workflow and add a sheet where instead of adding a new sheet or creating a new sheet, I just want to get rows, right? So get rows in the sheet and which rows do I want? Get rows from uh, course enquiry email response. And from that, I want sheet one and I, I want a filter where the value of one particular column. So column name is approve. The value of that column should be yes. So if I have added yes to that column, it means I should fetch from the sheet. So this is what I want. So now what I'll do is now that this part is set up and I can display the data output data, I can now go back to my email and approve this. So let me click approve. So, it, so now, and now the approval uh, signal will be sent to NITEN. And once it is approved, now I can test the setup where I'm fetching the data from my Google sheets. Uh, so now I have fetched the data from the Google sheets, wherever for whichever rows where I have added yes. Now, what should I do? This agent should uh, respond to those emails. So now go back to Gmail and send or reply to a message, right? And in this replying to a message, uh, source message, operation reply, message ID should be thread ID. Email type, I can keep it as text. Then message should be whatever this response is. Then email ID should be there, right? So, um, uh, yeah, email is not needed because anyway, the thread ID is there that is automatically, uh, that will automatically take care of it. So that's it. Now I can just test the setup setup. So if I click this now response should be sent from my Gmail to whoever sent me the email. So now the response has been sent to four emails. Now go, let's go back to the Gmail and check if the response has been sent. Um, so here, if I reload, hopefully the response should be visible. Yeah. See. Dear Rajat, thank you for your interest in our AIML course. So whatever response was crafted by ChatGPT is now sent here. And the response is a little bit personalized. So you can see that not all responses are exactly the same. See, uh, but in all the responses, this link has been provided. July 30th date has been mentioned. Uh, here also you will see a response. See, um, so this is how uh, an agent can be built using NA10, which has uh, autonomous capability to respond to certain type of emails. Now, obviously, if I want to run this entire workflow, I can do that. So I'll show you that. Uh, let me delete delete all of these uh, rows. So now everything is gone. Now, if I want to run the entire workflow, click test workflow. So first it will fetch emails from Gmail. It will be sent to OpenAI. Then OpenAI responses will be uh, noted down in Google Sheets. Then I will receive a Gmail asking to approve once I have added yes. And then after I approve those columns with uh, those rows with uh, yes will be fetched. So now I need to approve. So this would this would result in me receiving an email asking to approve. So let's let's see if I have received the email. Yeah. And then once uh, I go back to the sheet, I should see those columns. Yeah. So these are the new columns. But you can see that some extra responses have come. That is because the previous response that I had sent is now part of the uh, fetched Gmail. So I can just delete this these rows which are useless. Uh, and then here I can say maybe I can approve. Yeah, I'll approve all of them. Approve, 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 and approve, right? And once that is done, go back to email, approve. And once I approve, automatically next two steps will be implemented. So workflow is successfully executed. Now, if I go back to my Gmail, you should see that this new response, whatever was crafted, will be sent again. So you will see two responses now. One was the response which we sent earlier, uh, and the other one is the response we just sent just now. So this is the NA10 workflow. So yeah, this is the second response now. So this is the NA10 workflow, fairly easy to do. Try this out and let me know what you think.